Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Corky with a 7% win rate Corky build. You do have to be pretty patient though, because hitting the scaling takes some time. It's a three item massive power spike. We have Fleet, Presence of Mind, Bloodline, Coup de Gras with free boots, biscuits, attack speed 80 and armor. Flash with teleport. That way we can just have a consistent experience with D-Blade, potion. It's hard not to go D-Blade start. You can go for tier, but it's much harder. For this build, we're gonna rush down Man Moon first item into Trinity, into Ravenous. Once you have all three items, you can absolutely stomp the game so if you're in an elo or a region where the games typically go to three items you're good to go in terms of your first kill it'll happen around the 10 minute mark because you'll have sheen by then and you'll pick up your first package your package does stupid damage and is basically a 99 percent slow it's practically a snare and uh it doesn't even put your w on cooldown so you get your package w plus your normal w you get her with our fleet auto there auto into the queue it's gonna be your standard trade pattern level one is auto Q. And some melee champions at least. You have 550 auto range on Corky, which is standard 80 carry auto attack range. That's longer than Teemo autos or Callista autos. We're gonna get our E next, max E second, Q first. She's really trying to get this vital off me. I'm not gonna let her have it though. There's no reason to. Get her with an auto in the queue. She didn't want to dash forward on that. Little surprise. She's fighting me on my back line here. You see how she's taking all those minions? Auto in the queue. All right, we missed the queue, unfortunately. She did hit level three first. Kind of stinks. I wanted that minion. There we go. Our E does shred armor magic resist for two seconds after it hits. So ideally, in a perfect world, we want to have our E on them while we're blasting them with the abilities. Because all of our abilities do magic damage and our autos do 80% magic damage. Having this shred on is pretty big. I want a potion and a biscuit here. Should be okay, as long as I don't get dove. Auto into the queue. Oof, missed that minion still. That's rough. If she's going to back all the way up. I think she knows. Wow, with the, even with the Q damage. The Q damage is pretty low right now. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and leave the wave where it's at. We're in a pretty good spot. We can back, pick up tier. We can also pick up a refill. Super solid first to back for us. It's what you're looking for on most of your first backs. I mean, if you can afford it, getting a tier and a bunch of long swords, that's also fine. Most games are not going to be able to do that, though. You're not going to have a lot of gold early on. Nice. It does, it is easier to play the lane if you're pushing them down. Because then we can bully them with ranged autos while they try to catch up on their last hits. But it does make you a lot easier to die to ganks. Corky has bad base movement speed at 325. Every point we get into our queue, it's going to be doing more damage. We can clear the wave easier. Also reveals enemies for six seconds, which is pretty cool. She's got her grass proc up. I can toss my Q on the wave and auto W away. Auto him down. I'm down to trade off autos here. Since Fiddle's here and he's low. I also have minion advantage, so. Still able to push the wave here. Drop the Q. I'm on a biscuit as well. She doesn't have her vital on that side of me. Fleet heals you 10 times more off of champions than it does off of minions. Champions in turrets is what you normally want to use your fleet auto on. If you have the option. Go ahead and use our E to whittle this down. Nice. Got it. Yeah, she didn't know if she wanted to queue forward there or not. She's kind of low, so... Almost took a turret shot for that. Would not have been worth. Go ahead and push this down. That's solid. We'll take it. Now we just got to finish pushing. Got the minion advantage here. Got her with the auto. Auto into an R if I had it. Ooh, I'm surprised she parried that. She's dead. Auto R auto. She got greedy, dude. Big miscalculation on her part. 
We just whittled her down. That's the sweet spot. If you're playing a range champ into a melee, once you have them low enough, they just can't fight you. Even if you're not playing it perfectly, when we go in and we have way more health, if they step up, wham, wham, wham. Auto after auto. That's what she's getting right now. Let's go for the call fields and head back. Free boots can be a little bit greedy, but the they're fast free boots. The extra movement speed they provide is super useful. Plus, since we do need three full items to be on it, an unstoppable power spike, it helps to hit it sooner. The only champion that can stop it somewhat is Nasus. Against Nasus, you have to go for phase rush. And Malphite's really hard too. So I normally ban Malphite, and if it's a Nasus, I'll go phase rush. Or I just won't pick Corky, because I'm not a Corky one trick. <laughs> phase rush is the best keystone if you're ever playing against Nasus, especially on range champ. It makes it hard for him, because he withers you, uses a lot of mana, and he's not able to do anything. I want to push the wave. We'll get our E on. Oof, she's autoing me down there. Auto Q. We'll R away. What a turd. Get her with the raw auto. E, Q, R. Auto R. She's getting shredded. I'm on a biscuit and a refill right now. I'm trying to heal back as fast as I. Oof. Missed the cannon rip. Your big missile is way more than your non-big ones. Your red ones are your big ones. My big one right now is doing double the damage. She's pretty low. I think I actually win this. Auto R auto. Ooh, that was so close, dude. All right, I got to just push and reset. I don't know where he's at. Certainly not ahead. I'm low enough to where he doesn't really have to be ahead here to kill me. I gotta back off. Starting to get that damage output that we want. We have a CS advantage. We'll have free boots soon. She doesn't have inspiration tree, so we'll be up 300 gold once those come in. Got a long sword. If we didn't have free boots, we'd go for boots at this point. Corking can go for just about anything secondary tree. Biscuits is super consistent though. Her wave's closer to her turret. It's going to push to me. This is 100% coming my way. Up against a Jinx. I think I actually counter their team pretty hard. With my rockets, I outrange them all. It's not like they have a Zerath or Ziggs to counter out my colossal pressure with R. All right, Fiora, I got to put you, put you down, boy. Got my big rocket ready. QR. W away. Auto R. Always mix in abilities after your autos if you can. Got some damage on her. <coughs> Get that with the fleet auto. Drop the Q. Missed my R there. That's rough. Got her with that one. Max our E second here. Lots of shred on it. Takes away armor magic resist as well. Very valuable. Hey, Fiora. I am on a refill. She's playing really far back. I dragged the wave enough. I feel comfortable with it right here. Fiddle's not six. I have a feeling this is warded with how far she's playing back. She's done a good job not to dying to any gank. I assume she's going to go for this cannon. I'll position off to the side where I can punish it pretty hard. Got with the R. Got with the Q. Pretty much all the damage. All right, you can't push in there. Cool. I'm still going to get my cannon. We'll go ahead and push. I think she needs to reset. She's pretty low. Drop our E through the whole wave. Nice. The closer you are, though, I think the faster your Q gets there on Corky. The farther it is, the longer it takes. It is the 10 minute mark, so we can go back at package. 100%. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Well played to her. 
Oh, she messed up. <laughs> she as she played herself. I'm pretty sure I should die there. She didn't randomly throw out that. I don't know. I think I should have died. What a goose. Now we're on Mana Moon. We'll grab our package. When you grab your package, you can go back to lane. It's a huge speed up. Or you can look for the roam. She is missing, so I think roaming here is the option. And then we can TP back. I think that's what we want to do. The package damage is stupid big. It's so fat, man. It's, it's basically a better version of Rumble R because it's such a big slow. He's going to have flash, isn't he? Auto R. Auto Q. Auto R. And you see I still have my W this whole time. That lets us stay on top of them even if they flash away. It's really what you're playing for in terms of your first huge power spike. It is going to be on a uh, on your first package 10 minute mark. Oh, this is bad. I don't think she has her claw though. All right, I got a reset. Lost all of my health. She does have Zanya, so Biddle should just press R on that. Really like to pick up my Sheen. Can't afford it. She's gonna get feared under turret. Oh, never mind. I'll TP back mid. Apparently, me and Cat are lane swapping. I'm okay with that. She is pretty tanky. She's playing kind of the tank cat on hit. I think her R applies on hit effects. Like the dagger. Her, uh, what am I saying? Her R applies on hit effects like grasp and heart steal. So it can work. And she doesn't get shut down hard early game. Your E does not do damage against turrets. Just used it for the Sheen proc. Got my big missile ready. Look at that. W way. Oof. She, she didn't want it. She just took out the whole wave there. She's missing 500 health now. Can put that right there. Get some forward vision. I don't mind playing her under her turret. We have W to get away. We have our free fast boots, so we're decently quick at this point. As long as my W is up, we can get away from any given situation. Nice. <sighs> Bad angle. Auto R, drop the Q. Got it. Not bad. I got her, her to use her R at least. Her R puts a lot of kill pressure on me if she gets someone to come gank for her. I'm going to hold on to my rocket. It's the only one that I have right now. I need to give it time to recharge. Give myself options. Oh, come on. That killed there. If it lands. Well, she loses turret. We'll take it. Solid, solid, solid. Making it to the power spikes. Sork Shoes is normally what you want since your auto attacks do 80% magic damage and every single one of your abilities is magic damage. I guess your E does a little bit of physical. Not a whole lot though. We'll go ahead and get our Sork Shoes and start going into this. Many people don't even realize that about Corky. That weird thing with his passive 80% magic damage and only 20% physical. So a lot of people still kind of build armor against Corky, especially in lower elo iron through, let's say, platinum see that a lot like the Katarina has plated right now that's not that useful against Corky <laughs> you want magic resist versus him maybe a drinker even mercs the waves pushed we're chilling master he's not here R in the queue got it that's the damage that's what I was looking for Right there. The game's over now. Yep, they quit. <laughs> we do that and then they quit. 
All right, we'll do a part two because that was so short. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time we have the tier start again, even earlier. Mana Moon up against a Mundo. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him for a while, but we'll see. I think there's a bug with Corky right now, so do be aware. If somebody builds Force in Nature, the way it interacts with your magic damage on your auto attacks, it doesn't seem like your auto attacks apply correctly because a while ago, Force in Nature used to have a different passive instead of getting flat magic resistance bonus. It used to be a percent based reduction on top of that so just from what i've seen playing against people who build force of nature corky's damage doesn't seem to do what it's supposed to like you'll do like 40 damage in the late game to them with an auto it's very strange but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and start out trying to get every single cs it's way more important to get these than it is to hit him if we both get perfect cs i'm okay with that we outscale him that being said we're not gonna let him farm for free Go ahead and back off. My fleet's up. We'll get him with an auto here. All right, we're missing CS. Feels bad. Got to get away from these minions. Break, break vision with them. All my minions are focusing a different minion right now. It's making it hard to decide which one to hit. Get him with an auto. Another auto. I had got him with my Q, so I have vision of him for six seconds. He's stepping in the bush, not really realizing that. Auto in the Q. We land, we're landing these Qs, that's good. Got it. Nice. And got it. Oof, barely missed it. <laughs> oh boy. He, he's trying to get too much of the CS. He's getting himself very low. Meanwhile, I'm giving up too much CS. We're doing the opposite here. Oh, yeah, we gotta be careful with that. The range on your E is a little more than the range on your autos. Auto in the Q. We're going W away. One flash, a biscuit potion. Get up with the Q. Nice. All right, Nocturne's gonna finish. We'll take it. It's decent. I have TP so I can come back to wave. I don't need him to shove in for me. It's honestly not that bad. I should have probably flashed her knock up sooner. I did see Nocturne was on his way. I thought I'd be able to get away from her even without Nocturne though. I was not able to, she's too fast. Just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get two assists. I do have free boots though, so getting my boots sooner is still really, really good. Every time I get a takedown. Oh yeah, we don't want to miss Cannon. He's hitting me with every single cleaver. What a turd bag. Yeah, give me that fleet auto, baby. Now we push. Very nice. We get him with an auto. You keep the pressure on this guy. Nice. Oof. Took a turret shot for that. It's not nice. Okay, let's back off. I need to get a ward down. Go ahead and use the biscuit as well here. Oof. That hit. All right. I like the weird. He has teleport as well. We're both teleport flash at the moment. Oof, he's landing these all day. Again with an R auto. I hate how when you first get your R on Cork, it only gives you a single rocket. It's pretty lame. Go into him, pop him with the R, W and the R there. Very nice. He's not respecting our damage output at all because he keeps trying to cleaver us. He really thinks he's going to get us like that. I got to back off here in a second. I want the plate though. I'll go ahead and reset. 
right in front of him. My minions will block. I want to be close so I can still get the turret play. You can auto get the assist. If your minions break it within roughly 8 seconds, you'll still get the plate gold. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We save ourselves time just by backing in place. We're low anyway, so it's not as if... Oh, but now he knows you're backing. He already knew we were going to back. From here, we could have bought a Sheen, actually. It would have given us a lot more kill pressure since we couldn't afford the Man Moon outright. I think that would have been better. because I'm not going to be able to reset for a while. Teleport's on cooldown. I'm full health, full mana with a Biscuit. He doesn't have boots yet. He's much faster, though. Corky's base movement speed of 325 is somewhat what holds him back. Uh, the, the two biggest stats that hurt a champion is their base auto attack range, which Corky's is fine at 550. It's standard 80 carry auto attack range, but then also base movement speed. For example, Mastery has 355, the, the highest in the game. Holy moly. Skadoosh. There it is. Get a ward down over here. Oof. You got it. Auto W away. Didn't juke that one. Good for me. It's pretty much out of health. He wanted that cannon. I could have blocked it. <laughs> Trying to keep my health high. <laughs> for cannon, it, it's arguably worth though. We can just sit here with the S key on and to stop and then grind them up if we're trying to stay out of turret range. Nice. Line it up. With the oh, we even lined it up. It wasn't a good enough lineup. Auto into QR. Got them both. Mmm, landing them now. I think he has his R. I think he's trying to bait me for Belveth. I do know the lower on healthy is the more it heals him. So that could also just be what's going on. He's saving it for as long as possible, essentially. Auto R, auto. Oof, got the big rocket there. He's getting so incredibly low. He needs to back. Nocturne could kill him if Nocturne just went for it. Nocturne might not realize he's on full cooldowns at that moment. He had nothing. Rip. I'm gonna just pop it with the rock. Oh my, no, come on. I want to get this plate real quick. We'll reset. I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Belveth. Don't be like that. She's coming for the wave, seriously? That's so lame. Stalled my back and showed herself on the map for that. We can pick up Mana Moon with Sheen here. That's pretty good. My package isn't up and neither is my TP. So ideally we get to stay. But I'm, I'm missing quite a bit of health and mana there. I'll pick up a control word. I don't normally do that on Corky because I like to have more gold. Only Mundo is probably going to build Force in Nature. So we should be fine. I, th I think the f I really do think Force in Nature is bugged. I've played against the Force in Nature Udyr and... My autos, like late game three item, I was doing like 60 damage per auto. It was bizarre. Dirty, dirty, dirty. It's a big old wave. We're up 26 CS right now. It's about four waves of minions. Drop the QR. I don't want him to get a play out of this. My rockets way out range his cleavers. I want him to have to farm. If I push him under turret, it makes it so easy for me to get ganked. I have so much damage now, too. I could really put the pressure on him. If I auto him here. Got the fleet speed up. Catch him with the rocket. 68 damage. Let's go, baby. He's looking to slap that through. That was looking like to me. Whew, that catches. Auto R, auto. Mm, he's so low, dude. If I had one more ability into a Sheen auto, he's dead there. I needed anything less. Anything.
All right, we get the flash auto, we W out. I don't have triumph, so that was a little scary. It's worth. If I died, that would have sucked because I blew my flash for it. I saw Bellas was bot side. If I didn't see she was bot side, I absolutely would not have done that. I'm going to W away from this guy. Probably Cleaver towards the front of the bush. Figured his TP would be up since mine's up. I might Cleaver front to start, try to stop a recall. Oh, wow. He doesn't. All right. We'll go for... You can go with Sorks or Berserks. Kind of feeling the Sork purchase. He hasn't invested into armor. A lot of people will end up making that mistake. They don't realize Corky's autos do magic damage. Hey, buddy. Auto R, auto. His health is gone. I want to pull this back a little bit. Leave it up. I can hold a freeze from here. At least make him think I'm holding a freeze. Force him to play the game a little bit since he's been hiding so much. I see Belvet's mid though. Hey friend, our auto. Beautiful. Got my Eon into a W. Auto, our auto. Down he goes. I'll stay for these plates. Can push the minions and hit the turret with Sheen procs at the same time. All right, let's get it. Window's coming in. He doesn't have TP though. See, Bella, that's bot side. I love it. I love her not playing top side. It's a beautiful thing. Let's me abuse the melee matchup for free. Turret plates are falling off in about a minute, so I don't mind taking this first turret here. Got with an auto R auto. We're out spacing him here. <sighs> he didn't space back for that for some reason. Auto Q. You have no turret, my guy. Auto R auto. Get him with the W. Auto Q. That Q was terrible, not gonna lie. <laughs> Put it in a random spot. My goodness. My eyes are off. We could stay, we could play for her red buff. <clears throat> I'm fine either way here. Let's pop it this way so they don't know. If you shoot it right at them, they'll know where you hit it from, the enemies. They can see the, the light wave moving. I'll let him have it. He gets more XP from it since he has jungle item. He hasn't finished his jungle item yet, so I don't actually get the red buff, unfortunately. It is what it is. Auto Q. Your Q most of the time doesn't kill one-shot minions. You have to have your E on or use an R as well with your Q to pull it off. <laughs> He's getting hit by my man moon damage off my rockets. It's hilarious. He's so low, dude. Auto R auto. Auto Q. Nice. Got it. Auto R auto. W in with the Eon, auto and acute. Beautiful. They're getting ground up, man. Turn him into beef. We're sitting on Trinity Force, beautiful. We'll go ahead and pick up Trinity and build a piece of our ravenous here. It's only the 14 minute mark, too. Pretty early. I wouldn't be surprised if they FF'd. They'll stick with it if they want to make me suffer. Otherwise, if they're. They just want the pain to stop the FF. Let's go for the life still. Got package. This is my first package. The 10 minute mark, you can grab package. I might have forgotten to. We can take a bot lane. Package is on a five minute timer after you use it. So if you use it on drag fight, you can use it on the next drag fight because drag drags are a five minute cooldown as well. So every drag fight, you can have your package if you do it right. Package is brutal because it'll apply the slow and damage. Even if they're not on it, as long as you hit them with it initially. Like when you're first fly. It's wild. The hitbox on it gives Corky massive privilege. Huge, huge priority benefit of the doubt. I 
I could probably 1v2 them, but not 1v4. Well, maybe. Yeah, alright, we can actually do this. Auto or auto. <laughs> alright. <laughs> That's GG's, dude. <laughs> My package killed everything. That's so stupid. We couldn't make it to three items, but we'll take it, man. Package car key is so dumb. That's going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed, you know what to do.